working pretty much all day since this morning. And as you can see, my little get up, I had a little golf thing to do. So I've been going pretty much all day. I got back a couple hours ago, about two hours ago, I say, somewhere around there. So I'm about to start helping her out with some stuff. I kind of been helping a little bit here and there, but you know, I ain't been back for too long. But we ran to the store real quick. We had to get some more cleaning supplies. She ran out, so we got some of that. And uh, we also got some firewood too. So probably before, ah, probably before I keep helping her out in there, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for this little fire we about to have a little bit later after we get done cleaning all this work, whatever, and I'll sit down, have a drink or something, and then enjoy the little fire pit. So that's what I'm about to head over and do, get that ready. So when it comes time to do it, I ain't gotta waste time getting it set up. So I'm about to do that real quick and then we'll shoot inside and see where she go. There she is. So that was just a dusty fire pit. We was gonna clean the paddle bubble off and get in the water, but not today. Ooh, that's what we should have did. We should have got some chairs. Don't really have any for this. I just think it's sad. I can't wait till Mark get out here and help get us, we'll get this together for us. They already, you can kind of see around here. They already had some firewood kind of stacked up here. We just bought some more just cause one, this isn't, quartered at all and two i don't know how wet it is or isn't so just want to make sure we get some that'll actually light and i'm about to show y'all how i'm gonna make or set the wood up to make this little campfire i saw ah, i saw this a couple weeks ago and i wanted to try it out dude did it a couple times and it looked like it worked real well so i'm finna give it a shot you know i got my own little method how i usually do it but it seemed a little bit more methodical <laughs> so we're gonna give that a shot right quick let me show you how he did it he got some good tinder and out here is pretty much just these pine needles and stuff and leaves so that's what we're gonna grab we got a little pile of wood chips and stuff over there too so i just scraped off the top layer of those the dry ones and threw some of those on there too and now we're gonna move up and grab some twigs like these here. Start building that part up. So, got some leaves, a little bit of wood chips, and then these smaller twigs. You just, I guess, want to go from stuff that burns quicker to stuff that burns slower. So, got that built up like that. And then you pretty much just want to tic tac toe it when you stack your firewood. So, two across, and then two. over it like that like that you have there so you gotta open on the sides a little on the top for good airflow keep some oxygen in there to really get it going so we're gonna see how that worked here shortly now we're about to head back to the side right quick and see with the wife on real quick and then we'll catch y'all at the fire tonight surprise no fire look how pretty that is though I'm gonna take down this bookshelf wall thing here. This one, I think we can work with, at least for now. I mean, both of them are like, what's going on here? But this one I can work with, that has gotta go. Like I can't, I can't for one more second. So demo time. Called in for reinforcement.
this jump. Getting it ready for the burn pit. Last thing we're doing today is taping this and prepping it for all the prime and paint that we're going to do tomorrow. We're just kind of vacuuming up the edges so when we come around and put the tape down, it makes it stick a little bit easier. I guess she saw this and said she saw a tip or trick. We're just putting tape down here, getting it barely onto the trim, taking it all the way down, and then you take one of these tools and boom, push it underneath. I don't know why it's so much harder to do it one hand. Push it underneath. The next day. What do you mean expose it? What do you mean expose? What do you mean? What do you mean? Actually, what do you mean? What do you mean expose the beam? I want to expose the beam. I want to see like, is it like a wood beam under here, or just some kind of composite? If it's a wood beam, I'm, I'm stripping all of the paint off. You know. Just the, I thought you meant huh, whatever. I do. I mean the beam. The actual beam, not the beam under the beam, but this beam. Huh? Yes. Like the paint, they painted it. Why would you paint a beam? And they painted the fireplace mantle too. So I'm gonna start there to see if that's like a wood, you know, and then if that's good wood under there, you better believe I'm stripping that too. Cause that's character we could bring back in. Look at this light. <laughs> This is what I'm excited for is to have some chairs here and sit here in the morning. I don't drink coffee, but I drink tea. Have a glass of tea in my favorite cup. Just enjoy the sunshine. Cup of joe. What? Hmm? I don't know what you said. I mean, this is beautiful. This, like, you gotta just look outside to be okay in this house right now. Yeah, that's about it. Cause that ain't it. <laughs> Let's go over to the fireplace. Come. <laughs> but for now, we just painted prime. This is just primer. Don't, yeah. Primed it, and we'll paint it the same color as the trim. Probably just white, because this is the eyesore. So we're gonna try to do something where we hide this, cause that's not cute. Especially in the winter, we don't even need it. I'm gonna tear it out. And then here, that's ugly. This needs to be black the gold absolutely not mm -mm, gotta go and then we'll probably paint the fireplace too i know some people love hating people paint wood fireplaces but we're gonna paint it <laughs> and then over here the bar we're just gonna paint back there we're gonna spray spray back there but i mean we're gonna do something with it we're gonna try to make it cute we're gonna work with it but that one Mm -mm, had had to go so as you can see like the wall we got we got some work to do but we're probably gonna just put a big mirror there anyway to hide hide all that we gotta figure out what to do with the floor that we just got up it stink yeah it does mm -mm, yeah like we drill at the apartment that there's some kind Mister, of pot me. back there or there's my favorite tree doghouse 
Yeah, behind your favorite tree. Let me go look. I cleaned this window. It's already dirty again, but it looks a million times better without those blinds and just if you think of anything in this house, everything needs to be updated. <laughs> Ain't no handle. Ain't yeah. nothing over here. No handle. But you just gotta. Yeah. Raggedy. Okay. She's really, really much. Probably a raccoon. She's scared of everything. It's kind of hard to live in the woods and be scared of every noise. But here I am with this. Yeah. Scared of everything. Mm -mm. We don't live in the woods. We, we live in here. the woods. Well, we gotta. You see the junk that is here? You see my tree? Yeah. My beech tree. Mmm. Uh -uh, you... it's, well, it's a leaf. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's, not a leaf. it's a leaf. This? They left junk. There's probably something living in this uh, dog house. Maybe we should just burn it right there. And then what is I give you five dollars if you go look in it. What is the little thing? I am not. I don't, mm. It looks like a little dog house. Never see one of those. No. <laughs> little mini ones, like the little ugly dogs, the little crusty ones. No. Then there's something back there. We just gotta clean that stuff up. Then there's also a wheelbarrow over there in this shed thing or this box, this lock box that they left. We don't have the key. She said it barely works, but if you really want to, you can clean it. Girl, we don't want this. I'm clean it with fire. This one's gotta go. What is this? Oh, like a table. That's kind of convenient, I guess. Burger. That's for long. I'm gonna be showing y'all this every video. Every video. We might have a bee problem. Look at these bees keep going in this outlet. Yellow jackets. Just keep flying. Look at that. Ugh, we got to tear the hole all out. Just tragic. Quick little breakfast break. She gave me the dirty plate. The wood stain. It's that cabinet would be busted out. So, throw it in there. What are you doing? It's a lot of them. Oh, look, a toad. That's probably why he over here. Oh, there's a toad. Where are you at? Oh, there you go. Right while he is up over here eating crickets. Ew, he's ugly. Days later, I lost the rest of the video. That was pretty much the end, though. That's all we did. <laughs> we'll see y'all later. Peace.